Using the dim linear command, let's go up to the annotate tab, go to the dimensions panel, and we're going to go here and in the top of this pull down menu is dim linear. First I'm going to just select an object. So I'm going to come along here, I'll turn my object snap off, and it'll say uh, specify the first extension line origin or and it'll say select object. I'm going to hit enter to select an object. So I hit enter, I pick on this line, I drag it up, and I place it. I'll do that again. I'm going to come to the linear command, and I'm going to come down here, hit enter, that will cause me to say select object. I'm going to pick this object, I'm going to pull it out and place the dimension line. Now, I want to come and pick points. So I'm going to go up to my dim linear and I'm going to come down and turn on my object snap and in this particular case I'm going to pick on the end point and on the end point making sure I get the end point of the object. I'm going to come down and place my dimension line location and I'll do that again. I'm going to go up to the linear command pick on the end point, pick on the end point I'll come up and I'll place my dimension. And so I'll place the dimension line location right there. And I've just dimensioned this object correctly for the overall size and now for the location of the feature. So it's got two location ones and we'll put the size one in later. But I also want to come down and show this part here, a little larger part. And when I go to the dim linear, I can just pick on the object. I can hit enter. I can pick on this object. I can come up here and place it. And I can pick on this object. Oop, hang on here. I can come up and say dim linear. And I can pick on this object by hitting enter. I can pick on the circle. And it'll come up and it'll place the it'll place a linear dimension of the circle and likewise I can come and say dim linear hit enter and I can pick on um, the uh, object on the line and again I could also do the same thing with the arc I come down I can hit enter and I can pick on the arc and it'll dimension then the dimension location there so in this particular case just another way of doing it is using my dim linear command. It's more the old-fashioned method. It just does linear dimensions um, with that particular item. Uh, we do have some options we can do when we go to the dim linear and I pick on say an object for example. I come down here I have a variety of options that could be used down here. So uh, I can make it just horizontal or vertical, for example. Uh, I can put it on an angle, etc. So, uh, an example of that would be I'll go linear, I'll hit enter, and I'll pick on this object here. And I could just say, well, I want just to be the horizontal. I want just the horizontal portion of that. Sorry here. Um, and I could drag it down if. And, and it'll find it for me, but sometimes I could just say I want just a horizontal, and that way you can't make any mistake type of thing. All right. So using the linear dimension, it's found here in the, the panel for the dimensions panel on the annotate, or it's in the home tab. And I go down over here, and here's the dim linear command if you like to work off your home tab.